Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Thank you for staying with us. We have a phenomenal woman in the studio with us now, and that is no other than Veronique Ada. This is a woman whose uh, music career started off in the church, and then she expanded into pop culture, and now she's here in Nigeria to promote her music. And of course, she had to join us on Hello Nigeria. Thank you so much, Veronique. Thank you very Thank you much for, for having me. How are you doing today? I'm fine, and you? I'm great, I'm great. Mm -hmm. So you, we heard you just came back to Nigeria to promote your music. Where are you based? Um, well, um... Actually, uh, I, I base in France, but we work in Nigeria. So I came back to Nigeria like three years back. Brilliant. Yeah, but always going Do you speak France. fluent French? Yeah. Do you I sing in I French? Sp I speak French. Yeah, um, not really, but okay. sometimes I do. Interesting. So tell us a bit about yourself. Where did your music career kick off? I heard that you started in the church at the age of five. Yeah, wow. when I was young. Yeah, that was when I started music and... Uh, I was in the chorister, and then, you know, I wasn't seeing myself like I wanted to do take music as a career at that at then. I mean, well, it just happened like when I got to France, and then, you know, life experience, and uh, that was when I realized who I was. Okay, um, in the course of starting music, I'm sure you must have had some people that have impacted and influenced the kind of music that you do who would you say are your greatest musical influences um are you talking about worldwide or nigeria and worldwide maybe we can start from in france um well um i've always listened to um music like um within hosting i've um michael jackson those are the people that really inspired me Okay, nice. Yeah. Whitney and Michael are two amazing artists that are going to go down in history. So those are great inspirations to have, of course. Mm -hmm. So tell us a bit about your sound. How would you describe your genre of music? Well, um, I would describe my music as, um, let me say, Afro-pop, because um, when I came in, I wasn't doing the, the Nigerian kind of music. I was, you know, I was just doing a Numa R&B. And then when I go back here, people wanted me to do the Nigerian stuff. And this what do you what mean I'm by doing. the Nigerian stuff? <laughs> like Afro, Afro, okay. yes. Okay. And this is what I'm doing. Would you say your music? What, what What are the things that inform the kind of lyrics that you write your songs yourself? Yes, yeah, something to do. Okay, so what What would you say informs the direction of your lyrics? So some people write conscious music because they see a lot of ills going on in the society. Some write because of love personal experiences, experiences they've had from other people. So what would you say inspires the direction of your lyrics? Mine is love. Mine is love. I write, um, I, I always write about love because um, I believe in love. Yeah, so, and sometimes it's about um, my experience, like my exposure, and uh, that is where I get my, my inspiration from. Okay, nice. Now, I was going to ask you about challenges that you face in the music industry today, but I think we should focus on challenges that you face as a woman in the music industry today. Give us a comparison between the challenges that you go through over in France and the challenges that you go over here in Nigeria as a woman. Well, um, the challenges I'm facing is that I'm a married woman and I have a child. Mm. and My daughter is nine years and um, sometimes I'm not able to be with her because of music. Um, she travels on her own sometimes while I'm here, you know, trying to, struggling to, you know, make it. And then, um, some, of the, some of the challenges I have is that a lot of people don't believe in, in people's dream. Like when you, when, when, when you want to, like when you want, like when you put yourself out there, mm. I'm a little bit stressed because I'm not feeling too well. Oh, I've got fine. malaria. Oh, sorry, so, sorry, yeah. Wow. sorry. Yeah, so, um, you know, when you put yourself out there, you expect people to, to support you. Mm. And um, these are the challenges I found I have in Nigeria because I'm not getting the support I deserve because I put in a lot of work. You know, I'm not getting the support I deserve. And... In France, I would say a lot of people are, are supportive because they encourage you to, to follow your dream. They believe in your dream and they assist you if need be. Okay, so now that we're speaking about support, if you wanted support, what kind of support would you want? Or if people were to offer you, if Nigeria was to say, okay, you know what, Veronique wants to support your music career, explain what support means to you. 
Okay, like what I mean, support is that, uh, like, for instance, you know, music is a, is, is a very expensive career. You understand? I'm, I, I'm in charge of every, everything. Like, I'm in charge of, like, I would say the sponsorship and everything. Mm. So it's not really easy. The so financial support, you mean? Yeah, yeah. It's not really easy for, for one person. You understand? So I just... I understand, oh, and right. I get what you mean as well, because, for example, I don't get too emotional there's, a Nigerian, too um, there's a Nigerian rapper, right, yeah. called Vector. He had a recent interview with Dotsu and OAP here at Cool FM, and he spoke about how he can go to South Africa, and he's amongst an audience that he never knew he had, and even if they don't know his music, they're still interested. They still want to buy his music. They still want to listen to his music and support him. But, of course, rap is having its issues breaking through in the Nigerian music industry here. So I can understand exactly what you're saying with those challenges but Veronique how do we now get ourselves to a point where we can no longer face these challenges in Nigeria well um I think people should just be supportive and people should you know encourage when you see someone working hard when you see mm. someone trying to achieve the dream you should encourage them you should you should you should be there for them because a lot of people are going through Different challenges. Challenges. A lot of people are going through a lot. Some people are even like committing suicide, you know, because of maybe they feel like no one is there for them. So what I'm trying to say is that people should be more receptive and receptive supportive yeah, and agree. supportive and passionate about somebody's dream actually you would be the one to show people the reason why they should be passionate about your dream because mm -hmm. nobody can believe in your dream more than you mm -hmm. but away from that you've made very valid points let's talk about what will veronique be doing if she was not a singer well um i'll be doing like fashion because i love fashion i love creativity and uh I think if I wasn't doing music, I would be in, in the fashion line. And that's, nice. I think that's a very, very mm. viable industry. It is. It and is. everybody also has this one person, you know, that they run their ideas by. So when I want to start, for example, I want to start a new show or something, I've tasked scripting it. Everybody has that one person you can run to that they would tell you, they would critically analyze your work and get back to you. Mm -hmm. They would tell you the truth, bitter, sweet, regardless of how it is. Who is that one person in your life that you go to knowing that this person will not lie to me? They will tell me as it is. My husband. My husband and my yeah. daughter. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. Okay, now Veronique, of course, we have your music to check out and show to our audience here on Hello Nigeria. So thank you so much for joining us on set. How can people contact you though for more information? Well, um, you can... You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and um, Twitter, Veronique Ada. Just type Veronique Ada. And last name. one before we go, where do you see Veronique Ada in five years' time? <laughs> well, dream come true. <laughs> so tell us that dream. What's one that dream? dream? That crazy dream. <laughs> it's okay to just <laughs> make it crazy, but dream it anyway. Okay, I see myself everywhere. Okay. All over the world. Brilliant. Performing in different countries. Yes. I can't Keep wait to have you speaking it into existence. That's the most important thing. Always speak your dreams into existence. You never know what can come true. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.